So mm -hmm. how do we know how do we know the earth is not flat? We don't. It's flat. <laughs> that whole area is called the Mediterranean. Well, Mediterranean translates to Middle Earth. The people lived there were sure they were in the middle of the earth. That can only be true if you think earth is flat. Well, we have many lines of evidence to show that earth is round, including Apollo photos of the round earth. If you want to get into it, the earth isn't quite a sphere. It's a little bleh. Its spin is a little bleh, stretched. It made it slightly oblate. So it's not actually a sphere. Oh, so, it's so it's not, not actually, actually a sphere. A sphere. Oh, so, so it's, it's not, not actually a sphere. sphere. Oh, so, so it's, it's not, not actually a sphere. sphere. It's an it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call. It. What they have ingeniously done is placed the camera at the back of the spacecraft and centered the lens on a circular window in the foreground, outside of which it is completely filled with the Earth in low orbit. Here they remove part of the crescent insert and near Earth out the window. Mr. Armstrong, Bart Sibrel, ABC Digital. Wanted to give you the opportunity to swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Will you put your left hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked on the moon? Gentlemen. Mr. Sibrel. Yes? <clears throat> if you really walked on the moon, why would you not do that? The other, other fallacies like Neil deGrasse Tyson Saying the earth is pear-shaped What you free basin? You are just an actor, clown, front man, Freemason Tilting your earth 23.4 degrees Leaving you with 666 six, six. Now you're on your knees Filating these demons See Satan has stolen your power At 66,600 miles an hour uh -huh. Lying about going to the moon is a satanic lie hey, of gigantic proportions. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get I'm heading out. I appreciate it. And get the hell out of my house. No, to demonstrate you that you were halfway to the moon when you were Turn really the camera off, please. Turn the camera off. This is where you were using the window the of the spacecraft to appear to be the Earth far away. Yeah, we got the raw footage of it. We have, well, you're talking that, to the wrong guy. You want it. No, no one is lying. camera working. We now realize that perhaps the reason Neil Armstrong has never given an on-camera interview is because he doesn't want to lie anymore. What threats may have been made upon such honorable men or their families to possess their reluctant cooperation and later ill feelings towards perpetuating this still darkened hour in American history? go to NASA and download one of their photos of the Earth in the moon sky and put it in Photoshop, okay, um, drop the saturation and the, the levels down, you'll see that uh, the Earth is, has been pasted in because you'll see a rectangular box around the, the Earth. It's, it's all fraud, it's all fake. Um, pretty much everything NASA puts out is, is fraudulent. because they own this fucking place. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. Well, this is the best photograph I could find from a telescope from Earth of Saturn. So it is up there, there is something up there, there is a light in the sky, but that doesn't look like something you could actually land on. Unlike that. I mean, okay, it's supposed to be gas anyway, but you, you get the difference. That's first hand, that's primary knowledge. Yeah, that's what somebody's taken with their own telescope. This is secondary knowledge. It's our work, it's suggestion again. This is actually the dark side of the moon. Going past the Earth, there's the Earth spinning. And there's the dark side of the moon. The only problem with that is the moon's supposed to be orbiting the Earth, not just flying straight past it. Your eyes aren't fooled. Yeah, you've got your own senses, trust your senses, this is clearly CGI, but you go to NASA's website and they will claim this was taken from a million miles away from Earth. 
by the Discover satellite. You'll notice also that the clouds don't really move. The only problem with this is, when you look at it, you flip it horizontally and vertically, there's a word there and it says sex. And you think, well, is it, is it sex? Is it SFX? Is it, is it just... Is it, is, it, is it coincidence, that, or what? Well, here's how I know it's not coincidence. Because if you watch The Lion King, you get the same thing. And it's not just... It's exactly the same way of writing it as well. It's the same animator who's done it. They are messing with your mind. It's just another example of it. Tiny on the horizon there. It's four times bigger now. I spent two hours showing you that. There's no observable first-hand evidence that we're living on a ball. Things don't disappear over the curve. There is no sense of evidence that we're moving. The only evidence that you've got that we're moving is seeing the sun and the moon in the sky. Around the edge is Antarctica, which is an ice rim that resides along so you can't fall off. Okay. You have to go over what would be Antarctica. Mm -hmm. Now the rest of it is in the middle. Now I'm watching this going, well, wouldn't the equator, which is supposed to be the furthest distance you could travel on the planet, wouldn't that be shorter than the distance if you w went around Antarctica. So you got the flat Earth right there. The sun is over this plate that is the Earth, and it rotates or revolves around a, a center axis, and that way you get day and night on there. But meanwhile, oh, by the way, I didn't, I didn't tell you this. The sun is only 4,000 miles away on, on this plate. 4,000 miles away. Yeah, that's... that's... <laughs> It's his, but it's a, people it's, it's believe a, it's it. Just take a look at their facial expressions. They look like little mischievous children telling lies. What's taking place here is filming of another scene, another production. Again, they're not in space. Grid screen in the back during production filming. Get more of a close-up. There he is in the back. Same exact outfit, same pants, same shirt, and what do you see? This is a still image from Tim Peake supposedly drinking water in space. This is the entire purpose of this grid blue screen in the back. Basically telling you how they're producing it. Complete mockery. I can't say it enough. Let's take a look here at George Bush. Four way here. Screen in the back. I mean, this is completely ridiculous how people can't see what's taking place. Try to explain to these people that believe in NASA, ISS, the moon landing. It just, no evidence in the world is going to convince them. They can come out and tell them, we faked this. This is nothing but a production. And they will still be in denial. 100% busted. And they're actually exposing themselves. Completely ridiculous. And the masses still lap this up as being real. Even with this 100% proof, this is nothing more than blue screen. Go to a seashore and figure out why you can't, if you live on the East Coast, Figure out why you can't see Spain from the East Coast of North America. Spain is, it's, uh, it's more than 3,000 miles away from anywhere on the East Coast. Spain is more than 3,000 miles away. How the hell would you be able to see 3,000 miles away? Just <laughs> Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously.
It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. <laughs>